Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. I got my notepad here with all my notes and we're going to get started. These are items that I have picked up at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, different places like that. And these are items that I sold for $30 or less items to be on the lookout for more common items. You know, big money bolos are always the best. We love those. But items that we can source quick that sell quick are good also. So let's get started. All right, let me get my screen share up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All of those things help the channel. And we're going to start with this Carhartt replacement hood. This came from my I got it all free at a garage sale video. And I sold this for $30.80 and the buyer paid shipping. If you guys have not seen that video, you have got to go check out and see everything I got free. I just did a video on everything that's sold so far. And I have so many good bolos from that free haul that are still listed. And I'm excited to sell more. So free is definitely the best price. The next item is this tape dispenser. This came from the Goodwill bins. If you're not familiar with the Goodwill bins, it's where you buy things by weight. So it was kind of heavy. So I'm guessing I have a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty in it. And I sold this for $15 plus shipping. It's pretty cool. It's vintage, vintage tape dispenser. The next item I sold are, okay, so this came from a thrift store and these vintage jock straps can sell for huge money. It can definitely be a bolo. Now, I think I paid 50 cents for it. Uh, it was new, but you could tell like it had been sitting in the box. The elastic was kind of in rough condition. I think I did a picture of that too. Um, but yeah, like some yellowing and it, if you pulled on it, it just, I don't want to say dry rot, but it'd been sitting in the box a while and the box was kind of opened. So, um, definitely did not look worn, but yeah, anyhow, uh, it was a youth size. So I think that hurt me and the condition was not great because it wasn't taken care of, but it sold for $9 and 99 cents and the buyer paid shipping. This is a mixed lot of refrigerator magnets and I picked these up at a thrift store. It was just a bag full. I can't, I think I paid a couple bucks for all of it. I did pull some out to sell separately and then I lotted the rest up. These sold on auction for $9.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, these are some of the ponytail holders from my vintage hair accessories lot that I got at a garage sale. I shared these on my video, uh, my thrift battle against Donatella Bodolino on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I bought a ton of these vintage ponytail holders and um, they're more of a long tail item. Some of them sold fast. Some of them are taking a little longer, but I'm not in a hurry. They don't take up much space. And I sold these for $14 and eight cents and the buyer paid shipping. And when I bought them, I got the whole lot for $5. So I've definitely made quite a bit of money on those and um, they're fun. They're just fun. All right, the next item are uh, these mixed lot of faux pearl bracelets. They're costume jewelry. Uh, these I believe I got from a garage sale. Um, these are not from my bulk buy on eBay. I sold these for $23.76 and the buyer paid shipping. This Superman belt came from a garage sale. I think I paid a buck for it and I sold it for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. So yeah, little costume things like this. I do believe this is vintage, but I'm not 100% sure. The next item are these stickers. They're wiggle stickers. I was hoping these were gonna be a bolo. I mean, th they were bread and butter, but that's okay. I didn't have much in them. Uh, I think I bought them with a bunch of other stickers. I sold them for $7 and sent buyer shipping. And back to this, if you guys have not watched my stickers bolo video, go watch it because you will be amazed at one, at some of the prices that stickers go for. These are bread and butter, but some of them can go for hundreds of dollars. 
This is a Disney Infinity lot of 21 characters, figures. It's got this portal thing. I don't really know what it does or what it is, but I sold this for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, I can't remember where I got this or what I paid for it. It took a while to sell. It was a long tail item. I probably would have done better um, piecing them out and selling them individually because I had three of the same guy. That probably hurt it, hurt me. And yeah, I don't know. And I just didn't know much about it. So the next item are these flip flash. I have had these things forever. I got these at an estate sale. I bought a bunch of flash bulbs and all the flash bulbs did really good and sold really fast. But for some reason, these flip flashes did not sell as quickly. They did sell for $14.96 and the buyer paid shipping and I did make a profit. So I'm not complaining, but they were long tail. The flash bulbs do better. Here's another one of my cat's meow items. I took a best offer of $11 on this and the buyer paid shipping. Bulk buy at a garage sale. I have tons of cat's meow. I need to get them listed, but um, they're not at the, the height of my list. I've listed some of them. I want to make my money back and then, you know, I'll kind of get to them when I get to them. The next item is this um, Friends shirt. This came from my free garage sale. I got it free at the garage sale. And there were some issues with it. Let me see if I can find it. You can see right there, there's kind of like a discoloration. And then right here. Otherwise, I would have list, listed this much higher because it's so cool. But anyway, it sold for $9.99 and the buyer paid shipping. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, I do believe. Um, it was in my video where I unboxed the wood items. And I decided to lot these together because the wood was kind of the same color and I just thought it was super cute. And I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Hot Wheels sticker fun book from 1985. I took a best offer of $14 plus shipping. This came from a garage sale, a huge bulk buy. So much stuff I got at this sale, I can't even tell you. Um, I probably had 50 cents in it. This fossil watch came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy 350 pounds. I sold this for $20 plus shipping. These feather earrings came from that same lot. I took a best offer of five bucks on these and the buyer paid shipping and I just wanted to move them. They're, they weren't anything special. Um, I'm not sure if they were handmade or not, but they're, they're really cute. I just um, didn't see them as a big money item. So I went ahead and took the $5. This came from my I Got It Free Garage Sale, and I sold this for $8.50 in the buyer paid shipping. Here's another one of those mirrors um, that I picked up at the thrift store. I think there was like eight of them in the pack. Um, they're vintage. I could have sold them as a lot, but I decided to sell them individually because I felt like I would make more money that way. I sold this one for $19 in the buyer paid shipping. And I do have some left if anyone's interested. My link is down in the description of the video if you guys want to check those out or anything else in my store. If you decide you want to make an offer on something, please um, submit an offer. And in the notes section, please put Bola Buddies or something like that so that I know you're a subscriber. The next item is this luggage. And I picked this up in a bulk buy of like Barbie items. And I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. This is luggage from the Tammy Ideal from the 1960s. And I wish I would have had the bottom of this suitcase, but I went ahead and included it in case somebody had the bottom and needed the top. The next item is this little mouse toothbrush holder. I picked this up at an estate sale. I don't know why, I just thought it was cute. Um, I think I paid a buck for it. I don't know, it was just cute, so I bought it. And it sold for $17.60 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage brown puzzle. This came from a thrift store. I want to say it was like a buck or two. And I sold it for $30.80 plus shipping. Basically right now, if it's sealed and it's a puzzle, I'm buying it. Um, puzzles have seemed to come back in. So uh, lots of people doing puzzles right now. I, I'm guessing as people start to get back into life, it's they're going to have less time to do puzzles. So that market will probably decline. But if they're new and sealed, I'm still going to pick them up. The next item are these Pro-Line Scale Wheels. This came in a bulk buy of 
uh, stuff like this, which I have no clue what it is. So I just put what the package said and somebody offered me 20 and I said, sure, because I probably had less than $5 in the whole lot. So $20 buyer paid shipping. These guest earrings came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 350 pound lot. I sold these for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. Stickers, scrapbooking stickers. This one took a while to sell. I'm not going to lie. Um, I bought, I don't know if it was last summer or the summer before, tons of scrapbooking stuff, but I have sold so much of it super quick, but this one sat for a while. I don't know why. Maybe it's my words and the title. Not sure, but I sold it for $10 and 50 cents, 56 cents in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Kukoi nuts, I think is how you say it kooky kooky I don't know. but they are nuts then they're necklace and i sold this one and this one to somebody they offered me 21 for both i took it it came from my bulk buy i bought it on ebay I sell on ebay 350 pound lot so 21 dollars buyer paid shipping on those um my vintage hair things i think this came with those so I took a best offer on this for $5 plus shipping. This hat I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. I bought tons of them. Um, I've sold quite a few, but I still have tons left. If you're looking for the USS hats, I got a bunch. I sold this for $13.60 in the buyer paid shipping. This vintage Barbie stormy weather yellow coat hat and boots. I took a best offer of $16 on this buyer paid shipping. Again, it was a bar. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so sorry. I can't talk tonight. It was a bulk Barbie buy, a bunch of clothes, Barbies, stuff like that. So not much in it. These Weeble Wobbles, um, I sold these for a best offer of $22 in the buyer paid shipping. And they actually sold pretty quick. It's got the vehicle and then the four little Weeble Wobbles. So definitely be on the lookout for those at garage sales. This clothing lot, I don't think they've paid yet, so I may be relisting this one, but I took a best offer of $20. These are for 18-inch dolls. There's some Batat. There's, I think, My Generation. Um, Fun Rise. I'm not really sure, but uh, they fit an 18-inch doll, and I think that the um, American Girl dolls are 18-inch, so that size. So $20 plus shipping, but they have not paid. So that one may be going back up for sale. This snakeskin bolo tie with the silver tips. I do believe that those, let me see. I want to say they might have been Mark Sterling, or maybe that was the other set. I cannot remember. But I think that they were Sterling. But it might have been the other one that was actually marked. Anyhow. I sold this for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale for a buck or two, I think. I think it was a buck. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. This vintage Wilton 1972 lamb toy figure. He's like this big. So cute. Um, I just thought he was cute, so I bought him. He is bread and butter all day long. I sold him for $8.80 plus shipping, but I had probably a quarter or less in him. This is from my Screamin' Serpent roller coaster set I picked up at a garage sale. I think I paid $5 for the whole set. I decided to part it out. It did take some time, but it has paid off. I have made a lot of money parting it out. Um, I would not have made as much selling it as a set because it was missing items. And I sold this for $17 plus shipping. This Rusty Rivets lot, don't get me started, came from Toys R Us. I got it for 90% off but it has taken forever to sell because everybody bought the Rusty Rivet stuff and everybody put it on eBay. So these items are just now starting to move, but I took, I paid $22 is what I sold this for. And I think I have some more listed if anyone's interested. I just want to get them out of my house. So um, if I can make a little money and somebody's happy, I'm good with that. So I sold it for 22 plus shipping. Uh, tag books, still selling tag books. These sold for $25 plus shipping. It was a bulk buy, a whole tote full of tag items. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was a lot of stuff for a really good deal. 25 plus shipping on that. <laughs> okay, so 
I had this listed on Mercari. Somebody asked me to buy the middle one and then they decided not to buy the middle one. They had me list it separate and then they didn't go through with the purchase, which is always something that can happen. But instead of um, redoing the pictures, I'm like, I'm just going to scratch it out and like, like, you know, you screenshot it and edit. So I sat them to the side and I had planned on redoing the picture. Well, I forgot. And then I was like, oh, those items aren't on eBay. So I cross posted them with list perfectly over to eBay from Mercari. And of course it sold on eBay. And then I couldn't find it because it was not with my plush items. And I'm like, you know what? I think I sat those to the side to redo the pictures and they were with my not listed items. So thank goodness I remembered because I probably would have searched for hours to try and find this, but I found it right away because I remembered and I'm so happy about that. But the middle one, they never bought it. So they were all three together. So I just threw it in and sent them all three. So they got one free. And I sold these for $12 plus shipping. All right, this I picked up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. It's a vintage sterling silver 925 inlaid abalone um, clip. This is what the back looks like. And that is a leaf of a thing that you smoke. I don't know if I should say the word just because I don't want it. I don't, I don't know how that works if you get demonetized for saying that word. So anyway, read the title. Um, but yeah, Mark 925. I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, not really into the leaf, but the, the actual clip itself is very, very pretty with the abalone. And uh, yeah, it's a nice piece. And I got it for a couple bucks and I sold this best offer for $35 plus shipping. All right, you guys comment below with your favorite bread and butter bolo item and be on the lookout for those items. And I'm going to go do a Poshmark video and a Mercari video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.